friends, I have one info I'd like to share with you for a long time already. But the point isn't that I don't remember the original video, because a lot of time has passed, so I won't even try. So, a long time ago, one to two artist was showing a nice case the way needles put the dye under the skin. You ask, what's the point? That's easy and clear. Needle puts it under with penetrating, but actually, that doesn't work so. You think that needle put it while it taken off and uh, the paint remains inside. Actually, it doesn't work so. It actually very useful because uh, it explains why textured needles are just mess and uh, fullness in marketing. They have no function but harm. Why sharpness may affect productivity and how it affects it. Actually, in most situations, it explains all questions with tattooing, so I won't last it long and demonstrate it. So, look, here we have a needle, we need to disassemble it, it doesn't matter what needle do you use, the same reason the in-gun works, there is no liner and I just put it into the dye, the same as like we work when we penetrate skin, when we pierce it, oh, if you stick it, into the skin and then you remove it you have the point the spot of the dye you were you were putting uh, with the piercing but actually it doesn't work so you don't put it when you pierce it i sticked it a little but here nothing you you can hear that it works so Okay, but I put it into the dye again, and you'll get what's the deal look and pierce it stick it into the skin if you water everything that you pierced you'll see that you have nothing under the skin the only thing there there is a little spot of pink because we injure the skin and it begins to get in red probably you don't see that on camera but you can see that it's actually pink little dots there on around from the liner but there is no dye probably it has some dye but much much less than it should be there like 10 times less why is it so but the deal is in the vacuum when you stick the needle into the skin and when you remove it you have such kind of hole that is trying to fill itself actually it should have some paint inside it actually but when you put it into the skin it is left on the surface of the skin it is all here and concentrated like near the point of piercing all around the stick point let's try to draw such kind of i don't know skin surface and here we have our needle improvised needle that should uh, pierce and stick the skin when we stick it lower go into this point from the skin level goes into for this distance from skin surface in such kind of form this kind of hole here cup so now our skin surface breached and uh, it forms such kind of hole here when you remove or get out your needle that is clear that this hole won't won't be vanished that is still there and it tries to fill it itself with the uh, old dye that remains on the surface it was widespread because it has no air inside and when you get out actually all dye that was collected here from the needle when needle goes up all paint that is left here soaks into the hole into the hole but it tries to fill it in with the uh, air but actually it can't reach it and that's why it puts dye inside that is pretty logically so the question is how to put more dye inside the hole not to penetrate it every time much more and not over injure the skin over and over and over again at first i'd like to say that textured needles that 
when they have not that but like textured factories on it they actually should put more dye inside of your hole and put it more inside that doesn't work that has no reason it won't put more dye inside it has no point surface of this needle won't actually put more dye inside it is better to pierce it carefully and let it to take as much pigment as it just could from the size of your hull. We have two types of sharpens. We have like bullet type. So we can talk about bullet type sharpening. Bullet type is when you have end of your needle is that is wider to the end and the long taper that is just eventually goes thinner and that is more sharp. They have the same thick here it'll be like that more sharp i'll try to draw it clearer so they were the same thickness so it would be something like that with long taper so about like that so if they were the same size so the reason is in this distance here that is more sharp that is more blunt when you penetrate or pierce the skin this layer that we have like upper level this scoff skin that is actually has no functional point here into two because here we have no paint so we need to put it here inside so when you pierce it with long taper you put it with a sharp and here with a blunt tip and eventually look here we have the size of our hole smaller than here but here is more because of wideness so the more your hole the more paint vacuum will suck inside so that one this part that is more profitable than the first one it'll soak more paint inside so eventually you know the lose of other dye will be much more with a sharp needle but to say truly if i can say so about boom for textured needles when they were promoted as advantage you actually cannot find them a lot if you see them that is just bullshit that have actually no functional stuff inside so what should be actually be the negative part for the developer because you always need to think do i need textured or usual needles take just usual needles that is the most adequate variant but what about sharpness i hope you understood that if you want to put a lot of pigment and quick you can't actually use long taper you have to use blunt needles like the wider to the end to the bottom so the long tripper that is actually do that soft and do that you know like transparent not to put in a lot of dye inside but now you can get it actually you see how it works also it works with the size of the needle you may have 35 or 25th so 25th that is thinner they'll work the same with long taper because of little piercings they'll be less productive than wider needles probably somewhere yeah you need to use you know more transparent layer of dye inside but actually if you want to work quick and uh, tough put the dye inside and do the minimum trauma and injury to the skin you actually need to use wider needles so if you do 10 holes with the thin it's much worse than you do five with wider one so also think that so it's up to you on the way you work and how do you work with those needles but you can use both liquid dye will be soaked much better inside the hole if it's not dense as a cream i don't know but actually it works much better with liquid dye so to put it inside much better and quicker you have to use wider needles and more liquid 
die. But now it has any kind of understanding. So you have this knowledge that is not actually better with it. So it doesn't matter if you use, uh, if it will be put it with penetration with piercing, it has no point to have. So I hope that was clear and understandable. And now you armed much more than before and you won't have any problems with the uh, choosing of needles and you may have different approach. I knew that a long time ago and wanted to tell you about it, but now I decided to do that, so please put the like, because Eager uh, had a bad problems with it, with the needles inside him. I hope it was interesting, put your like, comment, any kind of information, thoughts, share it with your friends and uh, whatever you do, if you want to ask me something, you may direct message me on Instagram. And have a great day, boys, and uh, good luck. Cheers.